First, let me apologize. Today's video, it's long because we need to cover a topic that can only be best explained by the use of examples. And we've got plenty of examples on today's show on how you can use opposition instructions in your game. I think that on Football Manager, things have changed. Previously, you could just, you know, leave your tactic, just change mentality. And sometimes you get a good result. Maybe you change your tactic. That's all you needed to do. The old days, yeah, you stick one in and you get good results. On Football Manager, positional play has changed things. Because now when the AI changes one role in a tactic, it can turn it into something entirely different. So we need to spend a bit more time and we need to use more tools in the game to get results all the time and i think that um in the last couple of matches on my stream i've been doing things uh, slightly differently i've been using a lot of opposition instructions because i have a team made up of normal players playing in a league which is loaded with players that belong to you they're all super gens with fantastic attributes they break the game and for me to do well i need to win every single game so we had to spend a lot of time making small little tweaks to our tactics like changing a role here or maybe using OIs to shut down opposition threats. You will find plenty of examples on today's show. Things like what do I do when there's a playmaker about? How do I shut down the supply to creators in a tactic? How do I identify players and go, hmm, should I attack mark this player or should I hard tackle? All these kind of things and more will be on today's show. It's going to be highlights from a stream where I play different matches. There are different OIs I have to use with every single match. But hey, I think it's making the game a bit more interesting. What do you think? What follows next are the pertinent parts of that live stream, starting with an explanation on what opposition instructions do in the game. Now, in the game of Football Manager, I use opposition instructions to influence the style of play, to shut down potential threats, right? But it's important to understand what these opposition instructions can do. We've got opposition instructions. We've got like the basic one is type marking. You know, you, I tend to avoid using it whenever I find myself faced with the players like who have got great acceleration, balance and first touch. Why? They can skin a type mark. So type marking is extremely dangerous. And I also avoid using it against specific roles like the Segundo Volante, I will avoid using it against uh, roles like the Mazala and the Roaming Playmaker. So, time marking is something that you want to be careful with, right? Whenever there's a player that's got great acceleration, balance, and first touch, he's going to turn anyone who's time marking him. And then you've got a problem. He gets in and he starts to become a goal threat. And then these roles, the Volante, the Mazala, and the Roaming Playmaker, they have a lot of movement in them. The Mazala goes into the half space. He'll drag any player who's type marking him out of that uh, and to, uh, to follow him. A Roaming Playmaker might pull players out of position and a Segundo Volante. So these are roles I will avoid using these uh, type marking instructions with. So what about show on two weaker foot? Now, the thing about the show on two weaker foot instruction is this. Okay, it's great simply you know use it i like i tend to use it in a very simple way first uh, i like to shut down long shots forcing players into mistakes right why do i do this if they have a weaker foot you kind of need to know you got to go and do your homework because whenever you find a player who's left only and you force him onto a weaker foot what you're trying to do is you're trying to trigger a press which can happen if he miscontrols the ball but it's really rare to find players with uh, you know predominantly playing with one foot so what I tend to do is I target defenders who have poor composure, balance, first touch, and passing. And against players with good long shots and technique. So this is something else that I tend to do in the game. Now, the other instruction that I really like is show on two, left foot, right foot. Okay, because this is a fantastic way for you to funnel play, right? It's one way, you know, when I play the 4-3-1-2, or if I'm playing against the 4-3-1-2 or a you know, a system which only has got wing backs, right? I tend to keep them on the flank so they can't feed the ball inside. So you tend to force the player onto the flank he's playing. So if he's a right footed player, force him onto the right flank. You can also do it, you know, you see a winger, okay, you know, he can only, he's deadly from crosses, force him inside, you know, right footed, then force him onto the left, 
make him come inside. Sometimes these players have poor agility. When you force them inside, they lose control of the ball. You get the ball back. Idea here is triggering the press. But the thing is, these kind of things, they're all formation dependent. Are your players close enough to do that? Sometimes you need two players to get onto one opposition player. And sometimes you might be playing with a really broad system like a low defensive line, high line of engagement. Then really, these kind of... Uh, showing onto the left foot and the right foot don't really work very well. So it's, it's going to be very, very formation dependent. And then, of course, the players I tend to target will be fullbacks in narrow systems. 4-4-2 diamond, I keep them wide, forcing them to the flanks. Uh, inside forwards who are good goal scorers. These are the simple ones that I do. And of course, my favourite. Right? You find a player who's far, you basically, you see Erling Haaland, hard tackle him. Audi, Bronthwaite, Bayetich, we're playing at home, right? Let's go for it. <laughs> no, it, okay, there's no general rule of tight marking. You don't tight mark as a general rule, no Kratos. You tight mark, okay, you tight mark a target man, a final third AF, right? But you also, my advice is go and check his acceleration and his speed, his agility. So, a player like Erling Haaland, right, he's just going to run away from your tight marks. He's just too fast. So, what do you do? He's just going to escape the tight marking because the players are too close to him. So, they just turn. They just turn and lose the marker because their agility is so good. Agility, acceleration, first touch. They just turn your plane and they're gone. So, you cannot tight mark them. you got to hard tackle them. you got to stay loose. Like a defender, if I got a very fast fella coming, I'm not going to tight mark him. The only thing I tie mark him is we're dealing with crosses. But if he's coming at me, I'm going to stay loose. I'm just going to let him come at me. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, make sure that we cover the zone, make it harder for him to get into a goal-scoring position. So I try to show him to his weaker foot. I try to show him wide, okay? And then I have to tackle the fellow if he's going to try and get past me. But I never, ever, ever defend close to the goal. Right? So I will, I will like, you know, be, you will try to be high up the pitch. Huh? We handle the fellas like that. So you cannot, you cannot uh, time up a player like Harlan. You got to look at attributes, sir. Huh? You got to look at the attributes. No, I mean, we didn't even apply OIs. Huh? Everyone is asking general questions. I forgot to do this as well. Sheesh, I don't even know what they're playing. Oh, man. I think these are Mazalas, right? Shit. I think these are Mazalas. This is a tough one now. Uh, I think these were Mazalas. That's why I got, I, I'm opening up in the center. Ha! That's why I said, hard tackle them. Always hard. I will always hard tackle a very fast player. A talented fuller that can skin your defenders, you always hard tackle them. You don't, you don't tight mark them. You tight mark, you get punished. Colombo. Colombo is getting a lot of time and space. Huh? There we go. I tackle him. Oh, I made a mistake just now. No OIs. I wasn't paying attention. Gotta do homework. Uh, OIs, right? If you do it like this, like a rule of thumb, right? You'll always go wrong. Always go wrong. You always need to do your homework. Go into a game. If you're on an OI teams, if you don't know how to OI, don't OI. Right? But if you want to OI, you know, do the OI game, which is more efficient, okay? You got to do your homework. You got to go and look at the team. You got to know what they're doing. You got to pay attention to what they're doing. You got to try and understand what roles they're using. And you got to, you know, check on the fullest attributes. Colombo. I knew it. Acceleration, agility. He's going to get away from my players. And he's got jumping reach. He's got stamina and strength. He's off the ball. Very good. If I time out this guy, I'm done for. So what we done was the correct thing. Hard tackle him. It's in the folder. Galileo is in the folder. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, nice. So they shut down the. Ah, oh, we did the all the work. No, oh. they did well. Come on now, we just one nil down. Hey, but we can afford to lose this game, right? <laughs> I just realized we're the same group as the super teams. But there are more super teams here. Oh, I don't know. 
you generally have to cut out passing lanes, yeah. Make it harder for them to play the pass into their fella. <laughs> but right now, remember just now, what I did was I had the hard tight marking on one of the central midfielders. They are both Mazalas. They're in the half space. Very dangerous. I don't have to worry about set pieces because set pieces, you should already set them up, right? Yeah. We consider a goal from outside the year. We're using, we're using Ari Razor Tech. What is this? Mazala inverted winger. Oh, no. Opposition. This guy is inverted winger. So we want to show him to the right flank, correct? This guy was a what? I can't remember what this guy was. Show him left. I don't know what he is. I'm going to show him right now. Huh? Right flank. I have no idea what he is. Uh, no, we'll just show him left. Keep him wide. Okay. Um, I'll tackle this guy. This is a Mazala on attack. This is a Mazala on support. This guy is working with this guy. Okay. No, oh, now it's not Mazala, it's box to box. Okay. Tackle hard. Tackle hard. Okay. Yeah, you cannot time out Mazala. You time out Mazala, you always get into trouble. Always, never, ever, ever time out Mazala. Go, go, go. I don't know whether you turn things around or not. Because we can't get back into this game. Oh, my, my error was I wasn't paying attention. We did do our homework before the game. That's a problem. Okay, this, you see, sometimes you don't, don't have enough time, right? So you do that match speed between highlights. <laughs> so this thing stays up longer. Or you do this, uh, you just pause the game and go like, what formation are you using? I don't know. Here we go. Then the game decides it's not going to let you know. Okay, there we go. Okay, Mazala. Now you see, Mazala, Mazala again. Bloody. Keeps changing on me, you know. Okay, we just hard tackle them. Yeah. I won't tight mark them, but the moment they get the ball, we'll hard tackle them. I'm worried, right? If I hard tackle them, my players will be pulled out of position. <laughs> um, Playmakers is easy. You can type mark and hard tackle a playmaker. But you want to always... Mazala, you want to be careful. Don't type mark Mazala. So you get no trouble. Hard tackle, mm, okay. This guy inside forward, right? So we did the right thing. We kept him wide. Okay, good. So we kept this guy wide, wide and we kept, uh, we kept this guy wide, right? We kept both of them wide. So these two are Mazalas. These two are inverted wing backs. So you're good. All right, so now... We kind of uh, turned things, I mean, we kind of started waking up. Okay, so uh, Words is going to come in here. Uh, when Percy is going into attack, <laughs> I'm changing my attack. I'm actually changing my attack. I'm doing a, I'm doing a Yogan Clock. Yogan Clock does that, right? Boom! All three, come on. And once playmakers are easy. Yeah. Roaming playmakers just hard tackle. Don't type mark. Never type mark a roaming playmaker. Because a roaming playmaker can drift to the left flank and pull one of your players away with him. Because roaming playmakers can go left, right, up, down. Man. <laughs> ben. Okay. All right. Guess who's stepping up? David Seaman. Mazaras are the best role for some tactics. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. So we OI'd our way back into this game. So hopefully we get a goal. See, if you don't spend time paying attention to what the roles and duties are doing, you could get into trouble, right? So you have to react. So you want to do an OI game? Yes, go for it. But it takes work. It's not something that's going to be straightforward. No. It's not like, oh, there's a, there's a perfect OI setup. There isn't a perfect OI setup. There's only... <laughs> what you're doing in the game. So now they're going winger, right? They brought St. Maxim. He wants to stay, he wants to stay white. Okay. So we go into this right now. 
And because say Maxim, I mean, this guy, I mean, I don't call him say Maxim, but okay. All right, he doesn't have any OIs. Okay. So what are we going to do with him? Wherever he is. <laughs> okay. There. The OIs for him are show on two foot and uh, show on two right foot. See that? Because if you don't, if you don't go to him and check, right, it will lock in because we need by position. So why we want left foot? We want him to come inside. We don't want him to go wide. He's fast. He's dangerous. So we want him to cut inside. Okay. So that's what we want to do. Okay. Hopefully, we get that right. We may should get back into the game. Mess, mess. Okay. What I wanted to do was take off Larson and Reyes next. So we want him. Uh, we want him and we want him. Okay. Okay. Words. Baitich inside the area. Words again. So we slowly took back control of the game with the use of OIs. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we consider goals because we were not paying attention. So ever since we took the OIs back, we've shut this attack of Lazio up and now it's up to us to find a winner. Which is why I love whole shape. If you can control a game, then it's up to you. you know, at the end of the day, it's your own uh, players, the way you set a tactic up. Oh no, go, go, go. They're going to go and pressure them. So we got a few players back defending. Kiyodi, Rontwe, Lakwa, Audi. Yeah, our defenders are not going to be that tired. Now. We keep the ball. Gray, nice. Oh, looking to find when Percy takes the ball back. Lakwa. Gray again. Looks as, oh, what? <laughs> what a move! What a move. That should have been a goal. Okay, can we make one more substitution? No, we can't. Okay, that's it. KOD is tired, but we're hoping that this pressure on the opposition gives us the, our, what we need. Okay, we've shut this, we shut that's you up. We got our way, uh, we found our way back into the game, but we shut them down. SV, don't mark. Don't type mark SV, Mazala, and Roaming Playmaker. You want, you can hard tackle them, but never, ever type out these, these three roles. So, Segundo Volante, Mazala, Roaming Playmaker. Right? Those are the ones you don't want to type out. The player you want to trigger press on always is a central defender instead of a ball-playing defender. Right? Okay. Why? Because ball-playing defenders bring the ball out of defense. So, let them... So, sometimes you want to type mark them instead of trigger pressing them. Whereas the central defender, on the other hand, you want to hard tackle. You want to trigger press him. Why? Because the... The ball playing defender brings the ball out, right? So you type mark him so he's not a passing outlet. The goalkeeper plays into a CD instead, right? And if it's then, you know, add weaker foot. Basically, uh, the weak, but weaker foot, the problem with weaker foot is it doesn't always work because it assumes that your players know the weaker foot. So that's which is someone once told me in SI, you know, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always happen because we are making a lot of assumptions about players. So your scouting, so the knowledge, I don't know. I, the no, is your scouting knowledge good enough? Your play, <laughs> did they do all the homework? I, there's too many un unknowns. So I always found weaker foot to be a bit dodgy. Right and left is the easiest. Okay, total domination. Come on, boys, keep the ball. Yeah, let them work. Let them come at us. Last you need to win the game. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. okay. I think uh, we have, uh, you know, done well enough. Okay. Let's go DM now. DM support. So he doesn't run up and down. So now we change his role from a roaming playmaker to a DM. Why? Because DM has no positional play effect. He stays in that position. Whereas roaming playmaker has got DM, MC, AM tier, right? Okay, so now we got go from a 3-1 potential now to a 3-2. Confirm 3-2. There we go. 1-2-3-2 two, two here. So, we make it... Yeah, now we're supposed to keep the ball. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so we keep the ball. And what's... 
Oh, trying to score the third. <laughs> you can use a pressing four on a ball playing defender. Yeah, that's another way of playing the game. Huh? Yeah. You change the role. So you put more pressure on them. You change the role on that side of the pitch to a pressing forward. Yeah. If you play a 4 4 2, you can afford to do that. Yeah. But if you play like a four, like a single formation, right? You can't really do that, right? Yeah. Findlay, Audi, Zaya Marie, Gray, Nice, Rooney. This has been an. I think this. This is like a good performance, man, from the boys. Whole shape, whole shaping our way to success. Oh, uh, what a move! High percentage chance created. They failed to find a better net. Liverpool 2 on Real Sociedad. Now Liverpool 3 on Real Sociedad. Dominic Soboslai scoring. Words crossing far post. It's uh, straight to the Providel's safe hands. Kiyode, Lacqua. That's it. We done it. What a comeback. Whew. That was not easy because we had to recover, right? What was the mistake? I made a mistake at the start of the game, right? What was the mistake? I didn't do my homework. So we've got a game coming up. Let's go to the data. Let's prepare for the game. Like, you know, like typical, let's go. You know, what? What? how are we going to approach this match? Um, Android forever a poor thing compared to the quality you possess. Okay, well, fine. You know, that's always good to know. Except they have my players. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of these teams that are poor, right? They have good players because you know what we did, right? I loaned one of my best strikers here. He's a youth striker that's developing, so we loaned him. Um, jump period is 17. He's got one thing he doesn't have is agility. So actually, we can try and tight mark him, but he's fast. His first touch is 13. So we could try and tight mark him, all right, with a defender. Um, it's a bit dicey because he still has very good acceleration, but I don't think he's great on the turn uh, because of his agility and his, but his balance is good. So he can take the ball down and turn. Yeah, for, uh, still decent. We we shouldn't try because his off the ball is also very good. So I think we want to be very careful with him. Then we got, of course, Takagi Ramen. <laughs> yes, he's one of your super gents in the game. Uh, 18, 18, 16. We cannot afford to tight mark this guy. Or show him on two weaker foot. He doesn't have one. He can cut inside. He can play on the left and on the right flank. So obviously, whoever is managing him did his uh, homework. I mean, they already improved his weaker foot. So definitely, he has got two good feet. So if I pull him inside or pull him outside, I'm going to get into trouble. He can read the game. So this is another player. We're just going to do one simple thing. We're going to hard tackle him. Here on this side, we've got another player who's very fast, but his balance is not good. So yeah, this, this player, we probably can try and... Actually, he he's playing on the right foot, right? We keep him on the left because he's got bad crossing, right? So if we see Omar Mamush, we want, him, we want to keep him to the left. Takagi Ramen, whether right or left, doesn't make much of a difference. He's going to cross, he's going to go to his head, he's going to score goals, right? Yeah, so we are going to have to hard tackle this guy. And then we're going to keep this guy on the left wing. Other than that, um, I'm not going to bother with anyone else, right? So these are the two main threats in the team. We're going to identify. I want to use OIs to target this player. So let's go to the opposition instructions. Let's, I mean, okay, we're going to remove all this. We're going to clear all this first, okay? All right, so players, we just, we know what we want to do, right? So... So we got Takagi Ramen. The first thing we want to do is, hello, my Takagi, let's hard tackle you. Huh? <laughs> my own Kusere, Kushere, Ashare. Oh, this guy is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, he's good. He's a good player. He's going to be difficult. He's my, my own player. So we're just going to weaker foot him. We're going to weaker foot this guy as well. Because let's see if he's got long shots. 12, technique 14. Yeah, he's still a threat from outside the area. Okay, here we want to keep him on the flank, right? So we want to keep him wide. He wants to cut inside, he's got a favorite left foot. So we're going to keep him on his left foot and not allow him inside, right? But we're not tight marking either one of them because they're really fast. So there's no point tight marking these guys. We're going to get into trouble. 
That means that I'm also going to check my tactic to see whether we have type marking as a PI. Now, here at the back, again, now, we, now I don't know, I forgot about these two guys. So let's go and find, I mean, we can come in here and check here. Oh, this is my player too. Loans. You see what I mean? You can loan players. This is how your loan players will develop. If they go to sites playing at your level. Okay, so... <sighs> What am I going to do with this guy? He's playing on the left as a fullback. He can't really cross. He's got this marking and passing also quite good. Uh, reading of the game also quite good. Damn shish kebabs. First touch, eight. Agility, balance, passing not so good. Okay. So with this guy, Barandian, and then what about this guy? This guy's dribbling is good. First touch, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to tight mark him. Okay, we're going to trigger press this guy and we're going to hard tackle him. Why am I doing that? The reason I'm doing this is because I want to remove him as a passing option. I want to try and remove him as a passing option. It's not that easy, but we're going to tell my players when he gets the ball, we just want somebody close to him so that we allow this keeper to play it out to him. We want the keeper to play it out to him, but we're going to trigger press him and then we're going to hard tackle him when he gets the ball. We also, oh no, this is another super player. Another super player. Hey, hello, this whole team has got super players. Uh. Where's Daniel Heinz from? How come? Yeah, there, he's, he's also belongs to one of you, but he's not a super player yet. Uh, let me check why his attributes, because yeah, he's got, he's, he's uh, 147, 148. Yeah, correct. Uh, keep it Moniz player. Yeah, man, this is, this is getting... Harder and harder. <laughs> okay, this Shikri is another player. Elias Shikri is quite good. All right, so he's, he's aggressive. Again, we're going to hard tackle this guy. All right, okay. Now I'm going to go back to the data hub and then go to the opponent next up. No, I'm going to go to the overview again. Ball winning midfield and defense. These are probably two anchors. No. Yeah. Yeah, you might get a lot of fringe offers, but sometimes you can up the offer to a squad player or a regular starter and see what happens. Yeah, I I also get a lot of fringe players. Yeah, sometimes, you know, there's only so many uh, clubs they can go to. Yeah. I'm actually, high, I actually went out to get a loan manager, a very high, highly reputable more loan manager who's got good judging playability and analyzing data. So I'm hoping that he helps. On that side of the pitch, we've got Inigio Barandian, right? Left back. So he's playing as a left back. Ali Razor Tech, he might be fast. He can get away. He can cross the ball. He's got decent jumping reach. He is going to keep pushing him back, okay? Maybe this might be okay. We'll, we'll keep playing him. Halsa Naipan has to start the game because he is uh, he's making noise. I, I've got no choice. A lot of my players, I've got to give them game time now. It's not like something I wanted to do, but now i got no choice. Audi, Lacroix, KOD. Because this uh, transfer window is almost up, man. It's almost, it's almost up. Uh, so we're going to play this. Our our sister Florian Woods is on the bench. We got Naipan, Ali Razor Tech. Uh, Rooney is not going to start. And Shaki and Percy is also not starting. Uh, how many games has Naipan played? He's played 14 games. Unhappy because he wants to start more games. Okay, we, I think after two or three more games, he'll be happy. Yeah. You gotta make a lot of players happy. <laughs> you should see my squad, the unhappy group. It's very big. It's typical before the um before the transfer window. Mm. All unhappy. Everybody is unhappy. But after the transfer window closes, right? Miracle. Everybody will be happy. All the unhappiness leaves. As long as you can deal with some of the basic ones. I track Frankfurt versus uh us. Yeah, this much we have to win. So we got Takagi, Ramen, Kusi. Okay, the same players. Oh, they're playing Juronovic. And, oh, they're playing two complete wing-back, wing-back. So this is attacking. No? Um, yeah, we're allowing this player to get the ball. Wait, we're tight marking this player and we allow this. Yeah, correct, that's the plan. Okay, here we go, man. This is the match. Let's hope for the best. Um, no, no, no. Okay, let's go. Oh, starting a stream with the game. Away match, no? They don't get any tougher than this, man. 
Okay. All right, Bundesliga, one player, two player. This is I like the fact that he's playing here. He's doing quite well. After you go after you go around and check on all the boys, huh? See whether they're developing well. Okay, watching on extended highlights. Let's see if it works. Shikri, yeah, they want a hard attack. They're quite close to him. Nice work from Ali Razor Tech. Um He's on, he's the, okay, I don't have any PIs on my players in case you guys are wondering, eh? okay? Yeah, no, I have no PIs in this tactic. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of like plastering PIs everywhere. No? You can actually, in fact, I don't like to put PIs on tactics because um, a lot of these roles are hard-coded eh? to perform a certain way. So why, if you, if you can see what they're going to do, then why do you want to mess with it? Oh yeah, baby! It's not a goal. It's offside. It looks good. Huh? It looks like a good chance, no? Yeah. Nice work. Okay, he comes inside. Yeah, tackle him. Larson took him back. Reza tag. We are playing him as a winger because he's not going to run inside, no? He, it's out of winger. So this guy, so that guy is a complete wing back. So he, this guy is a wing back. One of them is a complete wing back. The other was a com uh, one is a wing back. The other was a complete wing. Ah, there we go. We want him to. Hey, no, he still wants to come inside. We tried to show him outside. The boy's not doing enough. Okay, okay, okay. Demand more. We can drop our mentality slightly, but I don't think we need to. Um, it's Naipan who's supposed to do all the hard work here. Mamush is coming on this side, right? So it should work. Okay. Hey, Dave, how are you, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How was your stream yesterday? How did you go? Of course, I went to sleep. <laughs> Actually, I did go to sleep, though. You know what I did, though? After the stream ended, played for a short while more with the football manager just to get some more um, images. And then I went to World of Warcraft. Rolled out my rolled out my hunter and my rogue. Just to see what it was like. Decided to level a rogue for the fun of it. I was like, oh crap, this is tough. <laughs> okay, not bad so far, so good. They are Facundo Torres is having the nightmare. Right? We're showing him whether his weak foot is not having a good game. We're probably gonna hard tackle him now. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna identify this guy, right? So what we're gonna do now is we got hard tackle. He's not he's not playing well, right? It's a big way. So we try to keep this guy from coming inside. <laughs> nice work. Okay. Nice. Oh, Barandian again. Torres. Come on, boys. Takagi Ramen in his crossing. <laughs> we're trying our best to so hard tackle him. It's not really working. Yeah. Yeah, we're just giving a simple, simple game. Of course, what I can do is I change this role to a DM. And it'll be even more defensive in that regard. Okay. Naipan. Long kick out. Okay. That could see Asari. Man, I can't wait. Oh, he's going to be a very good player for us. He had to go on loan because um, if he, he can't play for me, or Takagi Ramen, he's going to feed somebody. He fights Mamosh. Come on, keep him on the right. Don't let him turn. Yes, good. Oh. Damn, he still has a left foot. You see what I mean? See? I thought he doesn't even have a left foot, no. Runs with ball offered. King idiot can do a cross. I thought, yeah, we keep him on the flank. Let him cross. He's one delivery, scored a goal. Chila. Damn it. And Takagi Ramen also. Damn annoying, man. <laughs> Come on, Riza. I know you can do it. Baitich. Elsa Naipan. He has to play well. Otherwise, he's not going to keep his starting place. He's Mamush. Huh? Keep him up. Yes, Coyote. Yeah. If you're using a skin, that's a skin issue. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see any pros and cons. Oh, you're talking about the bottom of the pros and cons. Is he a default skin? 
I tried. Would you even try the default skin? Is it? Oh, come on. Analysis menu for the window. That's uh, that's quite strange. Uh. Green and red. Yes. Oh, that's strange. I I've never heard of that happening, man. Kusia, uh, sorry. How did? Oh my goodness. Come on. We didn't hard. Oh yeah, we did. No, we didn't. We did not tackle you. What happened? Kusi, are you okay? Our own players are going. Check, check, check. We're sending our own... We're sending our own medic to the ground. <laughs> That's my player. No. Not my youngster. His development is going to take a... No, no. Come on, Kusi. Are you okay? Come on. Hey, you joker. You, you're not a fake kid. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Analysis. We'll go, I, we'll go and check. We'll go and check. Guy, okay, I think it could be... Um, I doubt if it's... Uh, I really doubt, no. Um... I've never heard of this happening. It's the first time I've seen it. You've done everything. Remote screen. What is the remote screen? Etc. Even file reset. What file reset? How do you reset your file? What file did you reset, man? In Football Manager. Okay. Uh, all right. We got 60th minute. We got Bronthwaite. We're going to bring Hato on. Okay. Uh, then we're going to put on uh, when Percy here. And then we're going to make some changes straight away. We're going to bring on... Um, I think Riza Tech is playing quite well. Yeah, we leave him on. He's 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 giving them a bit of a meh. Uh, we're going to bring on more... Bayetich, I think, has to come off. I think what we're going to do is Bayetich is going to play as a DM. We keep him back. And then um, Archie Gray will come on instead. Okay. I will, I will, I'll check the tactics screen later yeah i don't think you sh it should be resetting man if it resets it might be something else um i i have a funny feeling you got yeah because i don't know if you're using are you using a default are you using the default skin or somebody else's skin that's more very important are you using any uh what i would try and do Right when I'm when I have these kind of problems, right? Oh no, Takagi cut in. Shit, Takagi is so bloody useless, man. He's too good, no. Oh. first time he's suffering. Takagi is taking us to the cleaners. First time, first time we have been taken to the cleaners by Takagi. Reyes hasn't been able to dictate this game as well. Reyes is a very important player. He, he, there, Reyes is always involved in a goal. He is always involved in a goal. No. I did an XG chain analysis of my games on five games. In all five games, uh, if I compare the, I did an XG chain. To find and I assigned, I did my own formula. Right? You know, I did a weight and I went to look for the players who have the highest contribution rate in my tactic for goals. The one the highest is this guy, Reyes. All right, Reza Tech is playing well, but we're gonna bring on um Rooney now. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep him. These two we're gonna change. We're just gonna change our front three. Audi is not coming on. Oh, uh, let's go. So you manage to bring, get a result out of this. Okay, demand more. And we're going to push to attacking. I want to get a goal. My only concern is this fling. Why did, huh? I just thought I'd brought on Larson, right? Did I bring on Larson? Really? Did Larson start the game or? Yeah, okay. All right, maybe I'll have to bring on Zeri in me. Okay, let's go, man. Audi to Reyes. Reyes is the, uh, the, the chief. I've got to play him in every game now. He is the best CMA that I have. Oh, he's better than Florian Woods. Florian Woods' goal XG uh, block is mostly from set dead ball situations. Ooh. So we made an adjustment, right? 
Uh, these players were just too good. The, um, the uh, OIs didn't really help us very much. But OIs didn't really help us very much. But what we did instead is uh, we freshened the legs on the pitch, our attacking options. Uh, we didn't panic. We kept the main player that is involved in all our build-ups still playing. He's the one. His rating is really 6.9. This is very sad because he has been involved in two of the goals already. <clears throat> so now I'm going to drop back to balance. Good work. Milo turns the defenders. Then he looks for Van Persie. Van Persie has got... Oh, Van Persie ran into trouble. Reyes again. Look at him. Reyes is involved in everything. Right. See, this is how you know who is important in your tactic. But you got to do the analysis. KOD, Rooney. Oi, come on. Takagi Ramen is not playing on the left. No left. Yeah. This guy is everywhere, is it? This guy is everywhere, no. I haven't paid attention to the role change yet. No. Kaki Raman. <laughs> Move to the left flank. They try to trick me. Volante! No hard tackle. No, 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 no. Let's not hard tackle him. The fellas are going to chase after him. Okay, forget it. I only want to do this guy. All right, we'll, we'll leave him like this, okay? Uh, we let the Volante go. Uh, let him run up and down. He's half dead anyway. <laughs> let him do all the hard work. Oh, this is a... Uh, Iman Mo. Oh, man. They're going to come at me. This is like a huge game for both teams. Brandon. Audi puts it out for a corner. As Bale Evacuation defend this lead. Juranovic. Ada is well wide. Oh, the keeper came up. They got very attacking mentality. Okay, pass into space. Don't work boy two box. They gone. Be more disciplined. All right, so uh, no more counter press. Ah, we don't have the counter press. We just make sure that we don't screw. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> they want to give me a heart attack. Wait, what's wrong with my team? They all want to, they, hey, transfer window is open. They all want to leave the club. Lacqua out the grey, nice pass to Reyes, the maestro. Oh, when Percy goes wide, plays it back to Hato, the libero. Zay Emery finds when Percy, when Percy takes the shot, couldn't keep it down. Technique nice, huh? Christensen. Ooh, hit it. Oh, Lacqua read the danger. Ooh, Hato is just standing there. What a game. What a game. That was a good game. Ladies and gentlemen, now that was a match. Takagi Ramen and company. Ooh, ooh. We had to come, we had to work hard, man. We had to put our backs through the wall for this game, though. Eintracht Frankfurt is not an easy game. Because we've had issues with this, this team before. So, like here again, teams looking at the shots, goals. BLW Cusen. So this Ali Razor Tag. Miguel Reyes. Jorel Jor Hato. Miguel Reyes played the pass here. Guess who's there again? Miguel Reyes. One. Okay, how do I check, right? So you see, at the start is Miguel Reyes. So you go, I go, I only count five. Huh? I don't count this. Okay, I never count this. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So you can see, right, the link up play. Okay, it goes from here, two, three, four, five, comes in here. Then Miguel Reyes from here ends up here. He's quite high, you know, in my chance creation. Yeah, in all the goals that I've scored, right, he plays a very big part. I know it's like SI doesn't really give us the uh, the 
the information. I mean, we don't have XG build-up and all that in the game. But if they were to provide this information, it would be very handy for people. But what I don't like is there should be more. One, two, like here, example, right? I want to see this whole thing. Right? I want to see, show, watch highlight. Be very interesting to see whether this is a dead ball. This is be very annoying. We cannot afford our draws. Uh. This will cost us no? if I want to catch these two teams at the top. We can't afford draws. We got to go for wins. As many as possible. And I, I'm accounting for four defeats this season. Only allowing for four. If I can get four defeats, maybe we have a chance to win the title. It'll be tough, but I got to manage my squad. Uh, so AP is going to run here. So what we'll do is we'll hard tackle the AP. We might type mark him. All right. So he might time out the AP and we try. The only thing is he's going to just attack this way. So we're going to watch him for a while and um, um, do our best <laughs> to pay attention to this guy. Because <laughs> he looks like he's on attack duty. If they play, if they play IFB, most likely this guy, would, it will make a lot of sense for this guy to be on attack duty too. Wingback is definitely not attack duty. So it's going to go around. So this guy is most likely support. So doing an overlap will put a lot of pressure on this side of the pitch. All right. Opposition instructions. Positions. Remember? Hey. Clear everything again. Okay. Players. Right. Now what we're going to do is do this, right? And then hit Y. This is by positions. Whoever comes in here, hopefully we don't screw this up. So we're going to hard tackle this fella. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Agility, terrible. Balance, average. Passing, 11. Composure, 12. Okay, trigger press. Udohai. Okay, very good at turning. First touch, 11. Passing, 13. Okay, here, yeah, time up. Hard tackle. All right, that's the plan. <laughs> we'll time out this guy as well. Yeah, what about hack? Hack. You know what we do to Hex, huh? He's a hack, right? Hard tackle. We hard tackle that. He's, his name is Hack. So we got to hard tackle him. Okay. Here, balance. Ha ha. This guy doesn't like to turn left and right. Okay. His balance is 11. He likes to dribble his first touch as well. This in concentration is 9. Okay. What foot are you? Right or left? Right foot, wigger. We're going to show him onto the left leg. Okay. And then trigger press him and I tackle him as well. Okay, so that's the plan. This guy, I'm gonna leave him alone. So we're trying to create some chaos in the tag thing. Okay, so we're trigger pressing this guy, trigger pressing this guy. Jetton, he's my player. Again, you see, I got so many players out on load. <laughs> I don't know, I can't hard tackle my own kids. Oh, first we have Asare in the last game. Every game is either the Nugent, my Nugents or your Super Nugents, bro. Hey, why must life be like this? You know, what this kind of saves. Uh, you don't want to break players' legs, but you got to do it anyway. You want to win a title. That's it. Okay. All right, boys. Are you ready? This is my, this is my definition of team talk. Are you ready? Here they are. Okay, let's go. Whiplash! You're back, man. Whiplash! Aye, the OI stream. Huh? Your idea, right? You are the one who started all this. So I decided, hey man, let's do streams dedicated to setting up. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone. Did you? Did Was that painful? I'm sorry. Huh? Luckily, I'm not drinking alcohol. Otherwise, I'll be drinking the microphone. Okay, Broadway, out of Bay Teach. Now, come on, boy. Yeah, baby. Ooh, stupid heck. <laughs> Bloody hell. Jetton, don't make me out tackle you. Please don't. 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 Okay, Jetton, you got no choice, no. You're running at me like a choo-choo train, man. Because we're making space, right? Because we're doing that to hack, hard hack things. So it opens the space up for Jetton, no. Got to be very careful. Every time a hard tackle hack, right? Jetton is being released. So what we're going to do, we cannot do this anymore. So we just leave him be. Okay. Uh, we show him to the left flank. Okay. We let Hack go down the left so that he, he can't pass. We don't want him to pass inside to the high playmaker. Right. Okay. Okay. Day. Thank you. I love it when an OI comes together because the highlight, the next highlight is a shot at goal. I was about to say goal. It did happen. Damn it. Could have been perfect. 
prostrate into the area. Comes inside. It's another shot. <laughs> okay. Love it, no? Oh, I changed. And straight away, the tactic changes. You got two highlights immediately. Putting pressure on the team. Three in a row. Oh, this is getting good. Okay, Rooney. Ah, Jetton has been silenced. Oh, come on. Encourage the team. Don't put pressure on them. Apparently, they need... This Milo, right, <laughs> stops scoring goals because he wants to play for Bayern Munich. <laughs> he was scoring so many goals. He was leading the table. Then Bayern Munich came and spoiled a party. Straight away, they dropped 90 million. Say, we want your striker. He's worth 300 million. They want to pay me 90. I said, no, of course. But he looked up and said, I want to play for Bayern straight away now. <laughs> I got issues. I can't. He wants to leave. My top goal scorer. They want to disrupt. Come on, Larson. Oh. Oh. What a goal, man. Helsa Naipan takes it down to Reyes. Reyes, please, I told you, you need to know your XG build-up. Every tactic you create, you have to learn how to analyze it. Right? It's not, the information is not in the game. I mean, the information is in the game. You may have to extrapolate it yourself if you are the sort of ones to do it. Yeah, great. Otherwise, you do a visual thing. Uh. And then if you, I would also recommend something called moving averages. You all don't want to do, right? Okay. So do moving averages up in the head, okay? All right? Okay. Up here, okay? Okay. So how do you do this? Very simple. Goals, XG, right? You made a tactic. Change your tactic. So divide goals by XG. Total goal scored. Total XG, right? Okay. So your XG is 3.0. And your goals are, say, 3, right? So it's 3, three goals over the XG, right? Okay. So you want to know whether that number is going up or going down. Because if it's going up or constant, then you're doing well. The moment the XG starts to drop and the goal starts to drop, that the ratio starts to drop, right? Then you're in trouble. Like sometimes you might get two XG, no goals. So you want to you wanna do a ratio. You do a, like a moving average ratio <laughs> to find out if your tactical system is actually working. Okay, what do we do now? We're still pushing. We want to score more goals. We're not taking this roaming playmaker off. Because the roaming playmaker means I am have a, I have a, I'm flooding them with six when I get to the flanks. Yeah, I told you, right? We are flooding them with six fellas in the box. They can't, they can't take out the ball. They can't get the ball out of the box. We're going to score. We are going to torment this team. Rooney, boom, they can't. You see, all of them, we're all over the place. Three fellas in the box. Naipan scores. Poor goalkeeper. Thank goodness it's not our goalkeeper on loan there, no? Could have been terrible. Could have been a traumatic experience for him. He'll never want to play football again. Hato out of Naipan. Reyes. Oh, it's another one. It's a tang, 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 The AP has been tight more at hard tackle, right? So they cannot build out play. Then their left flank is the exact flank we are destroying. Them. Their right flank is where the AP is, right? So what we have done is we've tight marked their playmaker. On top of that, we're giving them a lot of trouble because Heck cannot feed the playmaker. The playmaker is now dropping in performance. He's struggling. They cannot build any play. On top of that, what we did was, this is their only ball-playing defender. What we did was we made this guy an outlet. We tight mark Udohai, right? So he's he can play the ball out. So by we allow him to be play, we allow him we basically tight mark him so that they can't use him as an outlet. We trigger press our tackle this guy, right? Because now he we're only allowing them to develop play out of him, from him rather. Show on two foot is quite straightforward, right? Show on two foot is left and right. So when you show someone to the left foot, you're basically saying use your left foot. Show onto right foot means use your right foot. So as a footballer, right, if you are coming, like now every time you show onto right foot, I'm allowing him to use the right foot to play the ball inside. So if it's a winger, I tell him show onto left foot, keep you on the flank. You cannot use your left foot. You cannot come inside with your right foot because you need the right foot to cut inside one. <laughs> right. So you're going to use the right foot to cut inside. So that's what you use show onto foot. Show onto foot is all about angles. Yeah, so that's all about how you do pressing angles in the game. 
I mean, you can use Trap Inside as well. Trap Inside is pretty solid. But Trap Inside on its own, yeah, it can be very good, but you can have issues with Trap Inside. Okay, go, try. And, oh, nice. He had to cross the ball. He cannot feed simple passes to the AP anymore. So the AP is struggling, 6.4. Now we have to pay attention. Now this guy could be changed as a role. So we're going to pay attention to them and make sure that this role isn't, is, uh, you know, if they do change the role, we react. Reyes, back to Odragon! Can't, purposely missing, oh, idiot. Purposely missing. What are the jackass? Okay, dressing room. You keep quiet and let's get out. <laughs> Klaza, thanks for the subscription, man. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for sharing Il oh. Bezos' money with me. Okay, Reyes, out with the ball. Come on. We've had a fantastic game so far. Now, I don't know if they have changed formations or changed roles. Now I have to pay attention. I think they might have. Because suddenly they seem to be attacking. And we have to be careful. Reyes playing well. Dictating the play in the center. Rooney comes inside. Goes to Bayetic, Larson. Nice ball to the Libero. Libero finds high spell. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, my Lord. Is that a goal or is that a goal? We are wrecking this team. They have not been allowed to play their game. We took their playmaker out. We took out the one chance they had to feed him and we also took care of their wing. wing. Look at the playmaker. He's struggling. No? This guy. Earlier, Jetton was playing quite well. He was playing quite well at the start of the game. Right? I was getting away because I was hard tackling hack. So every time I went for a hack, now players were coming to hack. This Jetton was available for the pass. So what I was inadvertently doing was releasing Jetton. So I was releasing Jetton all the time. So I removed that and in doing so, now I don't create that unnecessary trigger on Hack anymore, right? So we let Hack get the ball. But what we do instead is tell Hack, hey, you know what? You stay on the left, huh? You cannot come inside. So we're not allowing Hack to come inside. If we play him, show him his right foot, he'll be able to feed the ball to the playmaker. But what we did with the playmaker, we tight mark and hard tackle him as well. So yeah, this is working. This is working to a T, man. I'm having fun. Yeah, love it when OIs work brilliantly. This football manager now in this FM24, it's not about whether my tactic has fallen apart. It's about how you use all the tools in the game, which is something as I have wanted people to do for the last three years. Okay. I'm not talking about using Data Hub. No, nobody cares about the Data Hub. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's like, how do you use the OIs in the game. How do you use all the other aspects of the game? And now we have to pay attention. Your bloody useless Muppet. Be right, the old team. Who's the Muppet in this? Ah, this guy. KOD. He normally doesn't make these kind of mistakes. Okay, never mind. What we'll do is we drop it to balance. So we just, they're all unhappy with me, you know. Leading by five goals, four goals. They concede the goal. Of course, I'm not happy. Which means now huh? we take players off. All they, they thought they were playing well, right? Now come. You get off the pitch. You get off the pitch. Or walking off the pitch. All be unhappy, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Uh, Verts. Wait. Verts for him. Archie Gray for Bayetich. Archie Gray for Bayetich. Okay, good. Sagio for... No, we don't do five. Huh? Let's, not, let's not be... Let's not be too knee-jerk about reactions. Milo still hasn't scored, huh? Idiot. So angry with Milo. He's like, I think, I want Milo to score goals. Huh? Maybe bench Milo for a few games. Huh? Put Esposito on. Huh? Talk to Milo. Okay, what out to words? Words turn the player with a nice touch. Oh, that's too dangerous. What a cross. Milo's header is useless. This guy is still going to be hard tackle. Yeah, that's it. We just keep playing the same way. Because they can't play out from the back anyway. <laughs> this guy's in this guy's in dire straits already. Wow, they changed everything in their tactic. <laughs> Holy cow, the whole tactic changed. AP now has moved here. Okay, we have to change. 
Okay, 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 okay. Now we want to tackle him hard. We hold on. Uh, let's just make sure that. <laughs> let's make sure that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what has happened is this guy is the one we've been tackling hard, right? So now he's been changed. He's now this guy is the one. So we want to do the. We want to uh, tackle him hard. They've changed the tactic. So let's pay attention. Words. Oh, auto. Hmm. Small changes. Sometimes it's good to pay attention because this is one of the reasons why sometimes you might struggle at the game. And there's no such thing as your tactic will always devour another system. No. If they make a change to it, they will affect. Right now, how this tactic is affecting me, this is right side, right? He's actually attacking my pocket. This pocket. This pocket where Reyes is playing a lot, right? So when he comes up into this area, right, attacking this pocket, is he potentially has the, the potential of messing in my defense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this guy into a DM on support. So now I'll have a 3-2 build up. So as he's coming in, I now have a, I will have a play here staying like you know basically uh holding this position for now they, i'm gonna make it harder for them to play through the area oh and percy long kick milo with the header zay emery that's enough free kick given my oh, can't even do oh my goodness he's doing a david nunes man so all right so like this, right? Okay. So XG is 2.70. Goals 5. Well, not bad. XG 2.70. Goals 5. XG 1.19. Uh, XG 1.35. Goals 3. Mm, quite good. Also not bad. Quite good. Almost three, nine, three, okay. Well, almost the same. Lazio. Uh, XG 0, 2.90 goals 2. Not very good. This is poor performance. We got into good goal scoring positions, but we failed to think. Thing is now, this is not enough, right? You also, I mean, I know it should be open play XG. Uh, it shouldn't be this much value. It should be open play XG. So I will have to go into like deep dive. You know where I go? Oh, oh. This, this is the reason why I don't do it. No? XG match story. I have to calculate all this. No? One, two, three. Find all the good open play XGs, right? Right? And then put them into a spreadsheet. I just wanna I just wanna do it because it shouldn't be me doing it. It should be SI. <laughs> SI should offer that to us as an option. I don't go to radar for anything. Okay? Not a single thing. All right. I don't go to check cross completion, XG, all that shit. I don't give a rat's ass about it. Because as long as they give me averages, I ain't interested, man. It will never tell me how good my changes have been in the last five games. Uh, Ten games. Nope. None of that information helps. In fact, the only place, even, even then, the only place that that might be useful is here. Here. Here it might be useful. Okay, so I'm using a 4 3 3, right? Chance every 38, 106. This is the only place is useful now. So, what I do is sometimes I track this instead. Ah, uh, is your player doing good? I think so. I think so, no? I think your player. So, well, let's look at all the other players in the database, right? All these are your players, all the super players, like how their career is developing. Okay, let's just take out the number numero unos in the goal department. Is Mr. Itu Momo playing for Manchester United? All right. Behold his greatness. These kind of players don't exist in the game. They break every law in the game. So they're not supposed to exist. So this, this is the kind of thing. Then, of course, we got Onduran Duran with 27 goals. But Itu Momo is looking like he's going to. He's putting himself in a very good driver's position to be World Player of the Year. So this is the database I'm using, right? So in case you guys want, this is the detail level that I've set. Argentina, basically like one, I don't know how many countries, there's a lot of countries, okay? And all of these leagues are playable, which gives us a very active transfer market and a very active loan market. All right, so we don't want to, the thing is, Volante, you don't want to tight mark. Sometimes you don't even want to hard tackle them, right? Because you might pull a player out of position. This complete wing back, we're going to show them to the left. Probably this... 
um, complete wing backs is they come inside as well, right? Okay. Now um, we're gonna keep them as we're gonna keep them white so that they have to go down the flanks and attack. Let's see how that works. Okay. I mean, it's a simple strategy. Here. I do agree that there are not enough injuries in the game. Yeah, but I don't want to use like uh, I probably with me and databases is. I don't use custom databases because my track record with custom databases is depressingly bad. Meaning, my games always crash. It's always happened. Like, people have seen it on stream as well. Like, you know, suddenly my entire save stops. It's over. You can't play anymore. Action zones, basically, the whole game is being played in their half. You can see this from here at the bottom. See, the whole game being played in their half. I'm not getting much. I'm not getting much love on the ball, man. Thirty-one minutes in, John. Okay, what I'm gonna do is instead of playing with this, I'm gonna go DM on support. Why? Because they, I, they have an AM, right? They might pull my roaming. My roaming playmaker might get into trouble. Although I do like the roaming playmaker high up the pitch. I got extra play and attack. I I never go there again. Oh, what a safe. What a safe. This is why I didn't want to see. Um we might have to change systems. Play a 4 2 3 one front foot. Uh, don't let them out at all. Okay, so for this we might have to ask Reyes to play here. Literally, you know, I cannot afford draws. Yeah. Volante moves up, inverted wingback comes inside here. No, I'm thinking right now, no, whether they, this is might be front foot, but the problem with this is the I um I, that left flank is an inverted wing back. Both flanks are inverted wing backs, right? Is this guy that's a problem? Uh, so volante versus volante and a complete wing back. But we're getting a few more shots on target, which is good. Ah, why did I bring Van Persie? I was supposed to bench him. Okay. Hato, Branthwaite, Lacroix, Keode. Mm, Dragon will come on now. Okay, Ali Razor Tech, Florian Woods, Reyes, Hato, Lacroix. I mean, they haven't really threatened us too much. Uh, we just have to be patient. Ooh. Again, not a high XG chance, huh? His wish they must have become too big for my budget now and the big teams are drooling for him. Yeah, I guess there you got no choice. Uh. That race is so important to me, right? I mean, Reyes is just there. You know, he's always and he's always in the thick of uh, our chance creation. So we we like I showed you earlier in the stream, you can find out. You can you can go to there's a way of finding out in the game, but you gotta be like, you know, you gotta actually go into the game find all the high XG chances and then you go and look at the linked up play in the shots column, in the shots analysis when you go to your match by match thing. Look for basically an XG chain. Got the goal, man. What a goal from Florian Wirtz. I love him. I wish I started with him at the start. Florian Wirtz, fresh legs, does the trick again. Okay, go. Oh, no. Good defending from Lacroix. Interceptions. The king of your interceptions. <laughs> he read the play. He stopped the move. Yeah. Oh, good. Again. Oh, chaotic, chaotic defending. We did not play well at all. We did not play with a man. We were not our best. It's one of the worst. About 140 million selling him, yeah. Well, well, I hope you enjoyed today. Well, if you're still around, if you're still here watching the show, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you... Well, if you're still here watching the show, thank you very much. If you're still here watching the show, man, you're phenomenal. Well, if you're still here watching the show, I don't know what to say. You have my heart. I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget, drop in on one of my live streams five times a week. You'll see me on Twitch. Bye-bye.